Whether they like it or not, these big YouTubers out there are role models. A lot of them have fought to get to the position where they're at right now with this gigantic following, and along with that, means that they're going to have an audience who turns to them and looks to them as role models. And this is why YouTubers really, really, really need to start being a lot more reliable. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you are new to my channel, my channel is all about helping you out with your mental health. So sometimes what I like to do is pull different stories from different uh, things in TV or movies or YouTubers or things like that and see which lessons we can learn. So if you're into that kind of stuff and you wanna grow mentally as well as emotionally, make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell. So yeah, today the problem is being accountable being reliable. What's that mean? It means I'm going to do what I say I'm going to do, okay? So this is very important. For those of you who have been subscribed to me for a little while, maybe just a few weeks ago, I made a video that I'll link up in the info card about why you need to be more accountable, okay? Like, I do these videos from a place of experience, okay? I struggled with anxiety and depression. I've been diagnosed with a generalized anxiety disorder. And part of depression is especially is like, when it gets into these negative thoughts about why don't people like me, why are people mad at me, why are this, why that? And a lot of this, what I had to realize was, although there are some chemical issues in my brain, my brain operates a little bit differently, there's a lot of things that I bring on to myself. So for example, maybe one of the reasons that people don't like me or like hanging around with me or they're constantly mad at me is because I'm not reliable. I used to be the type of person where I said I was going to do something and then I wouldn't do it. Right? So why would anybody want to rely on me as a friend, as a son, as a boyfriend, as a father, right? So a lot of this mental health stuff is identifying the things that you can control to improve your mental health. For example, a lot of you out there have mentioned that you cannot afford to see a therapist. That's cool. What can you control? You can control little writing exercises that you do, inf information that you soak into your brain to improve your mental health. We gotta really start separating what we can and can't control. So in this video, I wanted to pick out three YouTubers that I somewhat follow, okay, and talk about how they're not reliable. So. Part of this came up and this video idea came up because last week there was stuff on Philip DeFranco and things like that because they did um, a story somewhere about how much influencers make, how much YouTube, Instagram influencers make compared to like pop culture celebrities like actors and actresses. And this, uh, this channel I follow, Peter Mon, he brought up a very good point. He said one of the reasons that a lot of influencers aren't paid as much or aren't taken as seriously is because you can't count on them. You cannot count on them. So the first two examples I wanna bring up are Tana Mojo as well as Bobby Burns. So these are two great examples because they're both coming back off of you know a little bit of controversy, all right? So Tana Mojo had her whole TanaCon thing and then Bobby Burns had his whole like explosion after his videos with Shane Dawson and then he disappeared for a while and now he's rebranding and stuff like that. So the first one I wanna talk about is Tana Mojo, okay? So after TanaCon, back in June, she took a month off of, of YouTube and she had an entire month and she decided that she was gonna make a video and tell her side of the story. So ramping up to this video, she kept tweeting out and she even changed her name on Twitter to Monday at noon, Monday at noon, Monday at noon, Monday at noon. And Tana puts out this message that she loves her fans. She loves her fans, they're everything to her, she loves them. So after days of promoting Monday at noon, this girl posts her video over an hour late. Like, what? What? Like, this is, to me, a huge slap into the face to the people who are relying on you. Like, there's a there's an old saying, right? Under promise, over deliver, okay? Like, if you, if you know that you're not reliable, like, don't put such a strict deadline on yourself, okay? Like, there's absolutely no excuse for this type of thing. And Tana Mojo specifically has a very, very young audience, and there's a lot of learned behavior. Like, you gotta, you gotta understand, when it comes to the human brain, okay, we, we grow and we learn by example. So, when we see people who say that, that we look up to, when we see people who we look up to, maybe they're pretty, or maybe they're successful, or maybe they make money, whatever it is, if we look up to them and they live their life a certain way, 
Consciously or unconsciously, we're adapting that behavior. We're like, oh, well, they don't, they're not reliable, so why do I have to be? They still got big, why do I have to be? But we have to understand, this is one of the reasons that so much drama happens. It is very subtle, but this is one of the reasons. And I'm gonna talk a little bit more about child psychology in a second, so bear with me. Now let's talk about Bobby Burns. So Bobby Burns had this fall from grace. You know, he blew up from Shane Dawson, got like, half a million subscribers and you know there he tried to do um some videos over on shane's channel and then he disappeared and like i i i looked at that in the same way i looked at tana mojo like you said you were going to do a sunday show on shane dawson's channel and you just stopped well it turns out bobby had a bit of a mental breakdown okay can't fault him for that i cannot fault him for that as a mental health advocate as someone who struggles with mental health issues like i get that that's cool all right so anyways he tries to come back with bobby burns 5.0 that wasn't going too well either. So now he's back with Bobby Burns 6.0. So here's where the accountability comes in. He made a video just a few weeks ago saying, okay, I'm back and here's what I'm gonna do. I was putting too much pressure on myself. I was trying to make too many videos. I couldn't get creative, da 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 da. So he took some time off and he said, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna release a video on every single Friday, okay? But this has been less than two months and this dude is posting videos on Saturdays. Like what? Like what? And like, here's, here's the thing, okay? When you get to a point as a full-time YouTuber, like there's no excuse. There is no excuse. Some of you see the content I put out like almost every single day, even though I haven't promised you, it to you, and I do that for a reason. Um, when you're a full-time YouTuber, there's no excuse, okay? Your entire day, like if you look at the average nine to five job, right, working eight hours a day, whatever it is, like think about how long it takes to record, think about how long it takes to edit, think about all these things. There, there in no way does that take six days. And you can even include six and a half days because you just gotta post it on a specific day. You see what I'm saying? So there's absolutely no excuse for this. So Bobby Burns, and by the way, this is to teach all of you, all of you this, because here's the thing, we're not stupid, okay? And your friends aren't stupid, your family's not stupid. So when you come at them with these excuses, they see right through them. They see right through them. So this is why people need to be more reliable when they make these commitments. So those of you who don't know me, I'm the son of an alcoholic mother, okay? And I read this amazing book. If you're the child of an addict or an alcoholic, I highly, highly, highly recommend a book called Adult Children of Alcoholics. I'll link it down in the description below. But one of the symptoms of adult children of alcoholics that I didn't even notice about myself, this is after being clean for three years, was that we lie when it would be easy, easier to tell the truth, right? And we're not that reliable. And here's the reason why. This is that childhood psychology. I was raised in a way where my mom, who was an alcoholic, would constantly say she was going to do things and then she wouldn't, right? And that's a learned behavior. So I started to do that. I started telling people, you know, hey, I'm gonna do this, but then I'm not. And here's the reason why. It's because I still love my mom, so my brain tells me, oh, people will still love me if I say I'm gonna do something and not do it. So it's this learned behavior. So as these big YouTubers, as they are role models, like they need to be more reliable. And so like surprisingly, when you start to do this, so when you, the viewers start to do this, you will start to see that your relationships with other people start to get better. Now, I have saved Trisha Paytas for last, okay? Because this one might get me some pushback and things like that. Um, I don't know if it helps, but I'm a fat guy too. But <laughs> like, I just wanted to talk about how Trisha Paytas, <clears throat> I made a video about her and Jason Nash breaking up and toxic relationships and things like that. One of the issues that they had, uh, which led to this breakup, was Jason made a comment about her weight. She got upset, they broke up, and she was very sad about that. They got back together, and Trisha came back and she makes this video right here, where she talks about how she's disgusted with herself, she's put on this weight, and things like that. And she says, you know what? I'm not doing mukbangs anymore. So those of you who don't know what those are, those are videos where people just gorge and gorge and gorge and eat a ton of food. And she's like, I need to be healthier, I need to do this, right? So I respect that. Something that I try to do is every once in a while I make a video about my weight so I can hold myself accountable to all of you. So if you guys see me start putting on some pounds, I want you to comment on it. Like, yo Chris, when's the last time you went to the gym? Yo Chris, are you eating healthy? My girlfriend does a great job of keeping me accountable. But anyways, like I was proud of Trisha for doing this. But again, this is less than a month ago and look at her most recent videos. She's already doing mukbangs again. Like, again, like I empathize because I am clearly somebody who struggles with weight issues, but like you gotta like talk to people and ask for help and ask for support and say, listen, like, and this is, 
This is another reason why you gotta have good friends. You gotta have good friends. You have to have people who call you out and say, hey, I thought you were gonna start eating healthier, right? And if they get mad, that's on them. That's not on you. Like, you, the best friends you will ever have in your life are people who tell you what you need to hear and not what you want to hear. So I do hope the best for Trisha and I hope she gets back on track and all that kind of good stuff. But let me know uh, what, what your guys' thoughts are down below about being accountable, re be reliable. Do you struggle with doing what you say you're going to do? How is your integrity, all right? Let's have a conversation down below in the comments, okay? But anyways, that's all I got for you today. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental health. Go ahead and click that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. I love you all. If you wanna check out some more videos, you can click or tap on one of those thumbnails. All right, thanks so much for watching. Be more reliable, and I'll see you next time.